Yes, in the back, yeah, the blue shirt. With, yes. Uh, hi, uh, Brian Bowe with USAID. <clears throat> um, it, it was mentioned before the tension between the, the sort of long uh, open-ended commitment and the conditionality. Uh, and, you know, when you have conditionality, you need to have a real threat on the table. You're willing to take something away uh, and be willing to, to follow through on that. And so what, what very specific things should we be willing to take away that doesn't undermine that first uh, overall commitment to, to long-term support. Can, can I go back on this? The idea that we will lay out some grand vision of what we will take away is now a conspicuous failure. It is what we have tried repeatedly in Brussels and Tokyo in various agreements. And we end up framing it generally, and then we won't carry through. It's, it's very attractive, I understand it, but it doesn't work. That's why I think you need a process which is, it, it, because it doesn't work, it's not credible. And so we, we end up with a need for an even bigger threat because you didn't perform on the last one. And then that's less manageable. So I think what I would like to see is far less sketching out what you're gonna take away far more leaving it up to people in Kabul to find ways of exacting pain on an individual basis and on a targeted basis. But that is much more art than science. But I, I really think that's the, it, you have to hurt individuals, not systems. Most of what we want to take away hurts systems and leaves untouched the individuals and their motivation for corruption. So I think you, it, as attractive as the theory is, we have to, you know, have it bigger. What are you going to take away? It's got to be actually less specific, but less framed and more specific in its application. We could do that, including one thing I'd like to see with a certain number of people is getting the IRS to go after those who have significant American <laughs> hand holdings. I would just love to see occasional Afghan politicians find that their vacation in the U.S. has been interrupted by a sojourn in court. Um, we can do that. We have some of these techniques we're not using, but that's very targeted individual, and it means you have to select things on a political basis, not trying to frame everything in broad systemic terms. It's very difficult for us. It's not the way we like to operate. I think it's the only way that will work. Yeah. Yeah, there's a good article on international security a couple, maybe one issue ago, on how the United States used conditionality effectively in El Salvador, uh, and it gets to some of those issues yeah. that Ron was discussing.